Israel Adesanya wants to see Francis Ngannou not only stay in the UFC, but fight Tyson Fury in an MMA fight. Mike Swick is also revealing the battle of his life. All this and more in today's MMA rumor. 1. Stylebender wants Francis Ngannou to stay in the UFC. The contract negotiations between the UFC and Francis Ngannou are still taking place behind the scenes. And while many believe that Ngannou can make good on his threat to walk away if his demands aren't met, there's one fighter out there who wishes desperately that this doesn't happen, Israel Adesanya. The last style bender is one of three current African champions in the UFC along with Kamaru Usman and Ngannou. While Adesanya believes that Ngannou needs to be paid much more for his fights, he should remain with the premier organization. Ngannou just fought that final fight of his current UFC deal with his win over Cyril Gane this past January. He solidified his status as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion and even battled through an injury like a true warrior to prove it. Now, he's ready to get surgery to repair his torn knee and will likely be out for the next 9 months at least. Ngannou has to let it be known that he not only wants more money, but he wants to have the opportunity to fight professional boxing outside of the UFC. One of the top boxers in the world, WBO heavyweight champion Tyson Fury, is looking to take him up on that offer and even said he'd be up for fighting Ngannou with small gloves as well. The Gypsy King even went so far as to say that he'd love to do the bout in early 2023 if he gets past all of his boxing commitments. Stylebender, however, believes that Ngannou should continue proving he's the best in MMA and said this while on the MMA Hour this week. But I just don't want him to box up. Like, you're the baddest motherfucker on the planet, you know? I don't want him to just use his hands. I want him to be... If, if you really want to fight Francis, fight him. You know, and, don't, and I'm... Tyson's the kind of guy that, that might do that. He's mm -hmm. crazy. Gypsy King. He might do that, you know? And, uh, yeah, I just feel like this is the top level of fighting. I'm not being biased. I don't care about kickboxing, jiu-jitsu, boxing. Whatever style of fighting that you do alone, if it's singular, it's a limited form of fighting. If you want to fight... You know, legally, this is the way to do it. The UFC. Is what do you think about Adesanya saying that Ngannou should fight Fury in MMA? Let us know in the comments. Two, Tyron Woodley says he's got his money on Jorge Masvidal and Colby Covington grudge match. Former welterweight champion Tyron Woodley knows a thing or two about the two men who will fight in the main event at UFC 272 on March 5th. He was not only a teammate of both men while training at American Top Team but he's also a former training partner and friend of Kobe's. In fact, Woodley did a lot for Kobe while he was coming up. The two had an ugly split as everyone else has had with Kobe. Either way, Woodley has actually fought Kobe just two years ago and lost via fifth round TKO in that September 2020 fight. By that fight, Woodley had clearly lost a step and Kobe had only fought against the welterweight champion Kamaru Usman just a year before. Kobe is in the prime of his career, and Jorge Masvidal has been able to climb the ranks of the welterweight division with spectacular knockouts, and then some. Both men were former friends turned bitter enemies, and the drama is enough for the UFC to make this a five-round, non-title headliner for the UFC 272 pay-per-view. Woodley believes Masvidal's key to victory will be his striking, if he can stay away from Kobe's wrestling. In a recent interview with MMA Junkie, Woodley outlines his thoughts on the fight and said this. Masvidal just needs to be, um, he needs to uh, keep his emotions, um, not turning into where he just want to fight him and hurt him and just, you know what I mean, try to embarrass him and really just use what he is best. He has the best boxing, I feel like, in, in, in MMA right now. I feel like his hand speed is crazy. His ability to work the body is nuts. Kobe Covington does not like body shots. I knew it. Uh, why I didn't go there more often, I don't know. Um, Masvidal knows it. He what do you think about Woodley's statements here? Before we get to our next story, take a second to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on the latest fight news. 3. UFC standout and TUF1 alum Mike Swick announces cancer diagnosis. Mike Swick is now in the battle of his life as he revealed this week that he's been battling cancer. Swick, who featured in the original season of The Ultimate Fighter back in 2004, revealed the news in a lengthy Instagram post that has since been making a ton of rounds online and has the fight world coming out to show their support. The 42-year-old veteran of 15 UFC fights in middleweight, welterweight, and light heavyweight 
said he has spent the last five weeks undergoing chemotherapy. He posted a photo of himself with a long caption showing his weight loss and how he's battling through the disease. The caption detailed how he's been battling cancer, what he's been doing to bring down the swelling of his lymph nodes, his diet, and more. Later in the post, he said this, I will get a scan and update in just over a week, but I decided not to hide this. I want everybody to watch as I beat this BS and recover myself back to 100% with the full recovery. So stay tuned. P.S. I apparently had this for over 7 months without knowing, even after passing an initial biopsy on my lymph node. Since all vitals were good and I passed all regular tests and blood work, we assumed it was a Johnson & Johnson vaccine side effects since the nodes swole up literally the day after I got it. So if you scroll back 7 months on my IG, you can see how much fun I was having with cancer and not even knowing it. Free diving, skydiving, training, kinda crazy. Be safe everyone and never listen to the first diagnosis. Swick goes on to thank everyone for the support. Throughout the post, he mentioned how he's been keeping a positive outlook over the whole thing and how he's been doing all he can to make sure he can beat the disease. Swick fought MMA professionally from 1998 to 2015 of full 21 fights, most of which were in the world's biggest promotion. He defeated the likes of Ben Saunders, Josh Berkman, and Joe Riggs before retiring in 2015. What are your thoughts on the whole thing? Join us in wishing Swick a speedy recovery. There's always so much going on in the fight world and we got it all for you here on MMA Rumor. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell to keep updated with all things MMA. Thanks for watching.